This is my first attempt at designing a main character for my cozy gamified task manager. And yes, you did hear that right. I'm making a real world task manager built inside of a cozy game. You can kind of think of it as a cross between something like Stardew Valley and Things or Todoist. Development is well underway for the task management side of things, but on the front end I've just been using some borrowed assets from a tutorial that I was following. I wanted to have my main character to be able to work with as I'm developing the game portion of the app. So that's the first thing I set about designing. The game is going to be set on a series of sky islands, and you are going to be an airship pilot delivering goods and services between these islands. I wanted the character to look as if he had goggles on the top of his head, as if they were like pilot goggles. So this first design, I put those goggles on the top of his head, but because of this first design being so small in resolution, they weren't really reading his goggles very much, and I wasn't happy with what they looked like. I did some a basic walk animation, but also that didn't quite look right either. I'm very new to pixel art animation, so I decided to move on to a different a different take on the on the design. My second attempt was based more on the characters from Stardew Valley, and once again I was trying to incorporate the goggles on the top of his head. But something still wasn't quite right. This wasn't the design that I wanted. I tried a different, a few different color schemes to see if maybe that was would help. But once again, things didn't quite feel right. My favorite game series by far is The Legend of Zelda. So I decided I wanted to base my characters on the Super NES version of, of Link. Not only that, but I decided I wanted to have animal characters instead of human characters. So, being that my favorite animal is a penguin, that's what I started with. I abandoned the goggles idea, it just wasn't working the way that I wanted it to. I colored it in grayscale at first, so that I could get the contrast that I wanted, and then I put a layer over the top with color blending mode, and what this does is it makes it so that any color that you paint on the color blending mode will inherit the value of the layer below it. So, putting the colors over the top of the grayscale gives me the same exact contrast that I established on that layer. And then set about creating the front-facing animation, which was kind of difficult because I didn't really, I wasn't working with a reference, and once again I'm brand new to pixel art animation. But after playing with it for a while, I got something that looked pretty good, and I, I then moved on to the left and right facing and the backward facing sprites and animations. All in all, I think it looks pretty good. There are some things that I would probably still want to tweak, but it's good enough for now. A character needs an environment to walk around in. So to give me a, a kickstart on this, I downloaded an open source tile set called Zelda-like. This matches the aesthetic of what I'm going for and will allow me to be able to create some environments to have the character move around in while I'm working out the game mechanics. As I said before, this is set on Sky Islands, so this map that I'm designing, I wanted it to try I wanted to try and make it look as if it were a Sky Island as best I could with the tiles that are given in this tile set. I'm using an editor called Tiled. It's a free program that allows you to be able to take tile sets and design levels with those tile sets. I simply imported the Zelda-like tile set in and then used it to paint my map. Excalibur JS, the game engine that I'm working with, has a plugin for Tiled, so I was able to pull my map in and have my character start moving around on it. I gotta admit, it's really cool having animated a character and then controlling that character with the keyboard on a computer. There's something really, really satisfying about it. So far, all the work that I've done on the task management side has been in the back end. The back end framework that I'm using, Django, has a built in admin interface, so I'm able to see all the tasks that are created in the database. I can even create tasks from this admin portal as well. I'm using a Django REST framework to create the API layer. Django REST framework provo also provides a graphic interface to be able to see the data that is being pulled from the database and allows you to make calls to that API using this graphic interface. I've written the code in the game to go and fetch the data from the API endpoint and spit it out in the console. 
The next steps for me will be to get that data showing inside of the game window and make it so that you can pull that data, pull the tasks menu up from within the game. There's going to be a lot of data that needs to be saved per player, so I'm also going to be creating a user profile for all of that data to be saved to. I'm really excited about the progress that I've made so far, and I hope to be able to share even more with you in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in following along this journey, please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to receive updates in your email, you can also subscribe to my newsletter. Link will be in the description below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.